From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Early Riser Update. Cascade Paint and Supply is Reading's oldest family-owned paint store established in 1953. We are the largest Dunn Edwards dealer in the nation and most of our products are made in the U.S. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff are ready to answer your questions and help you today. Well, we're just going to get you right to it. Talk about this heat, right? So we got a warming trend this week. You've been hearing about it. We've been talking about it even since last week. It arrives later this weekend with mountain highs between 100 and 105. I think hotter than that in some locations, by the way, in the mountains. And for the valley, between 107 and 114. Yeah, that's not a typo. Between 107 and 114 in the valley. Now, not today, right? Temperature is a little bit warmer. I, I think most of us will dodge 100 degrees today. Uh, so it'll be right around or just below normal for this time of the year in the valley. So slightly warmer than it has been. You'll notice it. And for the mountains, Siskiyou Modoc County, you're going to be in the mid to upper 80s today. Not too terrible. Sunny skies there. And you'll notice for the East Mountains, right around 90, give or take, for those daytime highs today. Now, we look at the trend. The normal high for Reading is 100. We've reached that time of the year where 100 is normal. Okay, so if we can keep it below 100 degrees, we're below normal and this can be great, right? So we're going to be right around that normal, normal mark, though, for today, tomorrow and Thursday. But look at the big spike in those temperatures. You get up to about 113 by Saturday, temperature is starting to drop after that. This is not a prolonged, you know, majorly long event of heat. But the heat coming in from the desert southwest is what we got our eyes on. And by the way, the heat wave we saw a couple weeks ago, that originated from the desert southwest, much like this one, because by the end of this week and into Saturday, there's the peak. That all originated from right down here where there are temperatures expected to be 115, 120 degrees. So valley highs 110 plus for the mountains 95 to 105. And I think it could be warmer than that for some of the hottest locations in the mountains. But look at this. By Sunday, Monday, the heat retreats back down to the south and east and our temperatures will start to drop again. So yes, temperatures are going up, but then they'll start to go back down here pretty quickly. So well, here's your forecast for your Tuesday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Some of us will touch 100 degrees this afternoon, especially for places maybe like Redding or even Red Bluff. A Chico most likely staying below 100. Uh, looks like in the mid to upper 80s and some 90 degree readings for some of the eastern mountains uh, up towards Siskiyou County, 89 Wairica, Mount Shasta City, 87, and for Etna, about 86 degrees. So we look at your seven day forecast and Mount Shasta, we'll see that temperature actually go up today slightly going down on Wednesday and then back up Thursday and the temperatures continue to climb over the weekend over 100 degrees possibly. But then we're back down below 100 degrees by Monday. Now you'll notice for El Turis about the same, just barely touching that 100 degree mark by the weekend. Susanville, I think you'll exceed 100 with 104 on Saturday, 102 on Sunday and about 99 for next Monday. So again, you can see that drop in the temperatures. Your 7 8 forecast for the valley. Yeah, we're upper 90s today and tomorrow. And then looks like for Reading up to 101 by Thursday, 109 Friday. There's the peak on Saturday. Now for Saturday, it's 113 for Reading and about 109 for Chico. But again, the good news is we're going to see those temperatures start to drop again as we go into next week.